you've definitely seen this effect. It's called the blob tracking effect. And today we're going to create it for free in After Effects using just expressions. Welcome back to our channel and let's get started. So I'm already in After Effects and I already have a clip on the timeline. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basic things you need to create a blob effect or tracking effect in After Effects. And then you'll be able to add some different elements and play around with uh, various settings. So first we need to create a rectangle. Double click on the icon and shape is immediately created in our composition. I have uh, stroke visibility turned on and remove the fill for the shape. Then go to the shape settings, contents, then go to rectangle and open rectangle path. Here we need to create a square. I'll just decrease the scale for each axis separately. I'll set 500 for X and 500 for Y. Perfect, we've created a nice square. Now right click on the rectangle path and select convert to bezier path. Then go to window and scroll all the way down to find create nose from path and enable it. In our shape, just click on the path. Now in the panel, click on uh, points follow nulls. And as you can see, four null objects have been added in our composition and each one is linked uh, to the corners of our shape. We can move each null object and already create animation, but I'll show you another way. Create a new adjustment layer. This will be our main one, which we'll use uh, to move the entire shape and uh, null objects. Select the null objects and pair them to the main null object at the top. Let's rename the layer so it's. <laughs> I think it's easier later to see what's linked uh, to what. I'll just call our shape first shape and the main null object I call uh, first main. Now if we move uh, the first main layer, we'll move the whole shape and also the other null objects. But we can also move and animate the individual edges of the shape using the null objects. Let's add animation, but we'll do it using expressions. And I don't want to animate every frame manually. Expressions will do all the work for us. All expressions we'll use in this video are available below this video for free. So let's copy the expression for position. Select the first main layer, press P on the keyboard to open the position property. Now hold Alt or Option if you're on Mac and click the stopwatch. Then just pay the expression we copied. Now our shape moves randomly in different directions and all of that done through the expressions. Let's open the expression and uh, I'll show you what you can change here. For example, you can change how often the animation will be. Mine is set to every two frames, but you can set it to five and now the shape moves slower. And you can also set it to one, then the shape will move uh, very fast. I personally like two the most. Then over here, you can set uh, how far the shape moves from the center. For example, we can set uh, 0.1 and now you'll see the shape moves almost only in the center, but I leave it at 1.0 as it was. Now let's add the expression for scale. Copy it as well, select the first main layer, press S on your keyboard, hold Alt or Option if you're on Mac and click on the stopwatch. And then we can pay the expression right here. Now it become too big. Let's open the expression and I'll show you what you can change uh, for yourself. Let's change these numbers to 50 and 150 and also set the same values below. And here is what we got. Now we have a random movements in position and also different scales. In scale, you can also set um, how often animation will be. Uh, like in our position, I leave it at two. Now let's create another shape and do the same things we did when creating the first shape. In this video, I'll just uh, show in the basic settings you can use uh, to create a really cool blob tracking effect. To create the second shape, I'll do the exact same steps. Don't forget to convert uh, to bezier path to create null objects for each point of corner of the shape. By the way, it doesn't have to be a square. It can be different shapes like triangle or even just lines with several points. Don't forget to parent the null objects uh, to the main null object. I call the main null object uh, second main for the second shape. 
then paste the expression for position and also paste the expression for scale. You can also change various values in the expressions as I showed earlier. Perfect, and we've created two shapes that move randomly. Now let's connect them with the line. Select the pen tool and just create a straight line in your composition somewhere. Select one point and drag it to the corner of our first shape. Then do the same for the second point of the line and let's rename the layer to line. Now copy the expression for the line. Before using it, let's determine which points of a line will be attached to. In my case, the left edge of the line will be attached to the right corner, a null object from the first shape, and the right edge of the line will be attached to the bottom right corner, null object from the second shape. Let's mark those uh, points with color so we don't get lost. I'll do this uh, with a color label. I highlight those two null objects with the same color. Select the line layer, go to contents, shape and path. Hold alt or option if you're on Mac and click the stopwatch. Then paste the expression for the line that we copied. Okay, we got an error, but we'll fix it now. Open the expression and highlight this part up to the dot and parent it to our first null object. Then highlight the second line also up to dot and parent it to the second null object. Our line disappeared, but no worries, we'll just bring it back to the place where it was. And as you can see, everything is done. We managed to connect the corner of the first shape to the corner of the second shape with a line and you can add more lines and connect all the corners. So let's add background for our shapes. Duplicate the first shape, move the copy below the original shape and call it like first shape background. Now in the shape properties, remove the stroke and enable fill. I'll choose white color and let's reduce the opacity. I'll set it to 50. Now let's do the same for the second shape. And here is what we got. I think it looks very cool and very interesting. It works great as a nice overlay for your video. You can keep adding different elements. For example, I want to add another line uh, whose sides will be attached to the centers of our shapes. The main thing here is to understand that you can link any object to another, as long as there is something to link to. In our case, that the null objects we created. When you pasted the expression, don't forget to adjust it uh, to your own project and layer names. That's very important, otherwise it won't work. So in this video, we created this crazy, free and very cool, simple blob tracking effect. My version doesn't analyze bright spots in your video or track them like in original uh, plugins, but we're able to create an insanely nice overlay for any of your videos. You can customize it, you can change the colors, add different uh, effects like glow. Using these expressions that I generated with the help of ChatGPT, I was able to create these different versions of the blob effect or tracking effect. You'll find all the expressions we use today below this video. That's really crazy what you can create in After Effects using just expressions. And let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about expressions. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments or some recommendations if you have. See you in the next one. Peace.